You know, you see the FBI, uh, they had to put a white man down this week in Utah. You see, they put one, put put a white man down. What you mean? Oh, you talking about the dude that made the attempt on Biden? He ain't made no attempt. He was just talking crazy. Oh, he ain't trying nothing? No, he's in Utah. I thought he tried him. So they pulled up on him because he was making threats, and then he probably pulled that thing out, and then they, they, you know, sent him into the afterlife. Yeah, allegedly, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that news. I didn't cover it because... That shit sound like, you know what I'm saying? That shit sound like some crazy ass propaganda. Yeah, and people, and that's another thing. I'm tired of these people asking these stupid rhetorical, want to be rhetorical questions like, why, why are we getting all these photos uh, of, of the FBI taking out this guy in Utah when that trans person uh, shot everybody in that school? We still don't know the uh, um, the, um, the manifesto or anything like that. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, like, what are you like? Are y'all being serious? We got this white man who's anti-government white man, the most dangerous white man on the planet. The anti-government white man, they shook at him. Oh yeah. They don't want no parts of that. They don't want no parts of that. They watch them closely. So of course, when they put him down, they go put it all over the news because they're trying to uh, deter any other white man from even thinking about any of that stuff. If one thing Trump did told y'all it was fake news, if there's one thing you should take from that, y'all still watching the news. They still watching. I mean, they're still watching the news. Why? And take it serious. That's one thing you take it is is entertainment. Right. What Denzel said about the newspaper, he said, uh, if you read the newspaper, you'll be misinformed. Yeah. If you don't read the newspaper, you'll be uninformed. Right. Right. Even Denzel told these niggas. Yeah. So there's value in watching it, but you can't. There's also value not to put too much stock into it. Correct. Watch enough that you know what's going on. The whole of the conversation at the water cooler. Yeah. That's it. Right. But, you know. You know it's bullshit. Yeah, you got to know it's bullshit. They don't know it's bullshit. They keep asking these dumbass questions. Why is a fucking... I'm just a black man from Exton, Pennsylvania. I gotta tell you it's bullshit. Trump told y'all it's bullshit. Hard-headed. See, they want the shit to go back, man. America's, America's not going back. Going back to what? I don't fucking know, man. To, to their innocence days. Before they fucking... They what? knew everything was bullshit. Innocence. Oh, before they, you know, got red pill? Yeah. Yeah. You can't take a blue pill, man. It's a mental illness. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, yeah. It, you know, it, it's it's cope. It's copium. You know, they need a they need a heavy dose of copium. Uh, they they you're right. It's it's a form of idealism where they want to live in a in a place that does not exist. It and, don't. and and probably won't li- uh, most likely won't exist. It, the thing is it never existed. It is what it is. It's America, man. Like y'all want, you're not getting back in that bottle. Like that bottle, like after that day and nobody knew anything. We were all like, man, yeah, we're going to fuck somebody up, man. Yeah. How dare they fuck us, attack us. Yeah. Let's go get them. Yeah. And Bush came out through that fucking ball, fast ball down the plate. America's like, yeah. <laughs> not going back to that dog. You can't put the genie back in the bottle. <laughs> 